Chapter 13 Electra tried Gary's phone. It wasn't unusual for him to go missing, claiming that he had to follow up a lead or check the details at a crime scene. But that was when there was too little to do. When there was an investigation in mid-flow, Gary was the one that was all over it. As much as Electra detested the way he was around her at times, she secretly admired his work rate when there was the bit between his teeth. Gary was ruthlessly ambitious. Electra was the same, but without the ruthless part. Eleven rings and then straight to voicemail. Nothing recorded by Gary, just the one set up by the phone company. Press one to record. Star at the end if you wanted to hear it back. Hashtag if you want to re-record. She left no message. The work was eating up enough time that she didn't think of any other way of locating him. She resolved to call Gary again half an hour later. In the meantime, there were plenty of reports to type up. Gary's typing wasn't up to scratch, so he couldn't have helped her much with that task at any rate. He typed like her father, looking across the keyboard for the required letter as though they were relocated every time he looked away from the keyboard. She laughed to herself at the difference between the way the pair of them typed and then got on with the task in hand. Electra plugged her headphones in and started typing, listening to Aphex Twin. She listened to the kind of music that nobody else did. Still stuck in the past, some of her exes told her. But she didn't care. Hearing noises, beeps and bass got her working far better than listening to the same kind of boring love songs that the rest of the world plugged themselves into. Ballads were for old people. Soppy people. Everyone else. She needed a beat. The words flowed onto the page as though they were jumping from the handwritten form to the screen in front of her with no effort required. Electra was never trained in typing. It just came quite naturally to her. She didn't touch type or have much in the way of a smooth style, but her fingers jumped from key to key, schooled by years of typing, just knowing where the next place to put her finger. It was effective, if not pretty. This was the way of Electra's life. She didn't know much about how to draw, but was an absolute whiz at Pictionary. She just knew how to represent things, without the skill of being an artist. She didn't have any idea how to iron in the way she had been taught by her mother. She found a way that worked, as unconventional as anything, but her clothes came out looking like they had been freshly pressed by an expert. She looked out of the window and spied the first few drops of rain from a cloud overhead. The sky had darkened. Still no sign of Gary. <laughs>